Hey guys, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com and today I've got my Mito Red Light, Mito Mid, that's a lot of Mitos, uh, Red Light Therapy device. I uh, just received this, so I'm going to do a really quick unboxing. Uh, we're going to look at the specs, the price, do a quick comparison to the main competitors, uh, Juve being one of them, and then um, we'll fire it up, see how it looks, see how it performs, and I will do a quick uh, EMF test as well. So um, I'm going to open this up now and... Uh, so here we go. Alright, so in the box we have a receipt, uh, usage instructions, which is a A4 sheet. Not quite as fancy as the Juve product, so it's got the specs on there and a few comparisons with the other ones. But it, nevertheless, it's pretty simple how to use red light therapy. Um, we've got some cables for hanging the unit on the wall, I'm assuming. Um, a power cable and then the unit itself so it's a pretty solid unit uh, metal casing so yeah it's good to see another metal design or metal casing because a lot of the red light therapy products these days are just cheap plastic low powered um, LEDs uh, there are two fans at the back as well they look like pretty big fans as well so uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how this goes when it's fired up um, what do you need to know about this? This is the Mito Mid Light. Uh, I've got the specs here. 60 watt, uh, sorry, 100 LEDs, uh, split between 660 nanometers and 850 nanometers, which is becoming the kind of standard for red light therapy devices. You're getting the red light plus the near infrared light. That's the same as the Juve light as well. Beam angle of 60 degrees, which is great. Uh, power radiance, 100 MV is, is the main number you need to know. That is uh, similar, if not better than the Jew products. Maybe it's the same actually. Uh, and it's much higher than a lot of the um, other players in the red light space. So yeah, all good and well. There is a switch on the top where the power, power plug goes. You'll see two switches there, upside down. Anyway, uh, one says red, the other says NIR, near and free. So the thing is you can alternate between them. Uh, and then we've got some brackets up the top here. See those gold copper colored brackets? Two there, and then there's four on the back. One, two, three, four. So that's for these clips oh, to clip into so you can hang it. Um, so obviously the ones on the top, you know, you can hang it on the wall or uh, back of your door or something. Um, the ones on the back, I suppose what you can do is hang it above you like so, which would be good if you're using it for hair regrowth. Anyway, let's fire it up. All right, we're all plugged in. So uh, let's see how this thing looks. It's very red, which is great. Uh, that's it, just with the near infrared on. You can hear and feel the two fa fans. Uh, they're bigger fans than the Juve, I believe. Um, which actually makes it a little bit quieter, which is like it's not as high pitch, which is good. Um, so obviously both off, red light on. So you can't quite see, but only half the LEDs are glowing red. The other half of the near infrared, I turn them on. Uh, you don't really make much of a difference. The power radiance is really, really high, like one of the highest in the market. I think they're even saying it's higher than Juve. So anyway, without having a meter, I can't, I can't test that. Anyway, what I want to do now is test the EMF levels. When it's switched off, I'm at 0.03 micro Teslas UT, uh, which is in the blue, uh, the green zone, way down the bottom. When I turn it on, that jumps up to 0.08 to 0.1 uh, which is still in the green zone though it's flickering up into the yellow you probably can't see that still very low that's at roughly the six inches out I'm not doing this very precisely am I uh, if I bring it to about there we're up to about 0.2 so it's it's probably similar to the juve obviously if you go right next to it we're overload we're in the red uh, let's test the electric field as well there's no, oh, there's a very, very little spike in the electric field when it turns on, but it's very minor. It's still in the green zone, so I wouldn't be worried about that, and that's right up. So the takeaway from that is, um, if you, it, these are such high-powered units, same as the Juve, uh, so this, the recommended uh, treatment area is six inches from the panel, 
Um, if you're in that treatment area zone, six inches or further out, uh, one, you're getting all the light power you need because these are such high powered units, you don't have to go right up to it. And two, if you're in that six inch zone, um, you're in the safe zone for uh, non-native EMF issues. So finally, uh, before I go, we'll do a quick comparison with the Juve. Juve doesn't have a unit this size. I guess the Mini, the Juve Mini would be a comparable size. This Mito Red Light has 100 LEDs. The Juve Mini only has 60. Um, this unit is much cheaper than the Juve. It's retail or it's on special at the moment for 450. The Juve Mini is about six, 700 bucks. Um, but I think this, I don't know how long the special is going to last for if it's always on that price, I'm not too sure. Um, speaking of prices, I do have a 5% discount code for Mito Red products, their whole product range. It's just simply my name, Alex A-L-E-X. Just enter that in, you'll save 5%. Um, so yeah, this on paper uh, is a much more cost-friendly option. Um, it doesn't have this hot, same high-end packaging and, you know, the, the fancy um, timer that, that the Juve products come with. In fact, the new Juve products have the built-in timer and, and they're bringing out the Bluetooth function for um, tracking your uh, treatment on on a um on your phone on the app this is i guess more of your run-of-the-mill budget uh mass market sort of product but um if it does put out the power that they claim it does and i don't see any reason why it wouldn't then you know from a performance point of view it's just as good if not better and in fact this actually has 100 leds as well um but there's things like flicker rate beam angle um, the true power that it's putting out, all that sort of stuff that I want to look into when I can get a meter to test all this stuff. So stay tuned to my YouTube channel and head over to alexfergus.com to subscribe to my newsletter because when I do have that meter, I'll be comparing as many red light products as I can get um, and I'll test every sort of metric and uh, including EMF and see what's the best uh, devices for your dollar. Alright, that's all for now. If you do want to buy one of these, uh, head over to mitoredlight.com, I think it is, and um, yeah, use code discount code Alex, A L E X, that will save you 5%, and I get a little bit of cut, which will go into my fund for buying that $3,000 light meter I'm talking about. Signing up, bye.